Watch out for my camera, Junior. Good morning, welcome back to Pine City Apri. Um, it's morning, and uh, we got Junior out running around looking for mischief. And uh, we're going to take a look at the bees today. Again, uh, just like the past few, we are looking for signs of swarming. Um, if we see that, then we need to deal with it. Um, I have uh, Langstroth Hive available and the other top bar hive available that I could make splits in if I have to. What are you doing, Junior? Huh? What are you doing, Junior? So, let's check on some bees. All right, put a, so I put a stopper. In that entrance. Hi, right, Junior. Right there, I had some brace comb in there. So we wanted to cut that free. And this is all going to be honey. It's pretty heavy. You can see. I don't know if you can see it or not. You can see all the honey. They're capping it. More of the same on this side. I'm going to get the contraption. Oops, I'm sorry. What are you doing, Junior? Okay, 
He's got brood in it. Okay, I think we, I see a queen cell here. It's empty. And I don't wish for them to have it. So I'm going to pinch it off. Right, this one is solid cap brood. Another side. This one you can see is solid brood. We got a lot of drone brood right through here. Maybe you can't see it. <clears throat> On the back side, again, solid brood. A little bit of drone at the top, and then all drone over there. Maybe this isn't going to work so well. I'd like to take a look at some of this drone brood. Alright, so I want to peel this open and uh, what I'm checking for is any signs of uh, Varroa mites and there isn't any on that. So if we had some chickens we'd let them feed on that. Sorry, guys, I guess these are the drones. Oh. 
بالا اونجا بیا I see uh, larva in here. Um, you can see up in this corner. I don't know if you can see how thick that is, but uh, that's honey. And then uh, solid brood throughout. We might be able to get a picture on this side. Oh yeah, you can see the larva. Got larva in through here. There's a queen cup. The queen cup right here. Right there's the queen cup. And it's empty, and I'm gonna pinch it off. No queen cups. Oh boy.
They got larvae in through here. And they got larva, new larva. They got brood. A lot of larva in this one. We got some pink cups. One, two, three, four queen cups. This one on the bottom might have larvae in it. Nope. Good. down from there. All right, so this bar last week broke. So, and we probably have attached it to the other comb. Which they did.
Yeah, no, that's not going to work. Got some a lot of drum brood. I got some queen cups. Oh, smokes, that's heavy. That's heavy. All right. So, we're getting an alar alarm pheromone. So we're gonna put, we're gonna button them out. We got one more bar to look at. Let's look at the last bar. Man, they've got that glued in good. I'm going to give them another bar at the end.
and I forgot to do this on the other side but uh, I take these paper towels and uh, I put them in the hive and that uh, that will serve as a uh, a high, small hive beetle trap. Um, the bees will, if there's any small hive beetles, which I've not seen, um, they will round them up. The hive beetles actually will get caught in the fabric here. They get little like barbs on their legs and they get stuck and uh, they end up dying. So on this hive, hive stripe, uh, we didn't see the queen, but we really weren't looking for her. We saw lots of signs that she's there. Uh, we saw quite a few queen cups. None of those queen cups had um, larvae in them. Um, but all along, this one has been closer to swarming than the other hive. So they have to keep a close eye on this one. 